Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. They fight all day, chasing each other around the halls. He lies to her, and she gets mad. It's a riotous affair and not sad. He's the principal, she's the teacher. They constantly clash with zero mercy. No one else in town can set the tone. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See more. Oh, 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 hello, Superintendent Chalmers. What a pleasant surprise. Please come in. The wine is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Oh, hello, Skinner. It's good to see you. I see, so the Weimar is not ready yet? What else is cooking? Well, I'm also making some potato pancakes along with a nice vegetable stew. Would you like something to drink while we wait? Yes, that would be nice. Do you have any tea or coffee? Yes, I have both. Would you like some tea or coffee? Oh no, I can't believe I've done this. How could I be so careless? I wish I had someone here to help me figure out what to do. If only I had someone like fictional character's name here to give me advice, then I could fix this mess. Maybe I should call fictional character and ask them what to do. They must have dealt with similar situations in the past and have probably experienced this sort of thing before. That would certainly be helpful. Fortunato, what an amazing sight. Strawberries would make the perfect replacement for the Weimar cake. I must investigate further and see if I can make this a reality. Wish me luck. Good luck to me. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna replace the Weimar cake with strawberry cake. All I need to do is find the right ingredients and the perfect recipe. Here I go. Hey, this is going to be delicious. What are you doing in my kitchen and why is it full of smoke? I'm making steamed Weimar. I think the steam trapped inside must have caused this smoke. Don't give me that. I saw you climbing out the window and this kitchen looks like it's on fire. Now tell me the truth. Okay, I was deep frying some donuts and they must have gotten out of hand. I was trying to get them out quickly and put out the fire. But I promise it won't happen again. Regional expression? What region? The strawberry fields of Illinois. There's no such region in Illinois. Well, this regional expression is used in other states as well. It's a common expression in the Midwest region. It's like a biscuit, but better. And just what kind of biscuit is a strawberry cake? Look, Skinner, there's clearly a fire in the kitchen. We have to do something. Oh, nonsense. That's not a fire. It's a beast of Exmoor. You can't see it, but it's definitely there. What? No, it's ridiculous. Let me see it. I'm not running off into the night until we prove there's not an actual fire in the kitchen. No, I'm telling you, it's definitely a beast of Exmoor. You won't be able to see it, so there's no point in looking. I'm not taking your word for it. If there is a fire in the kitchen, it's important that we act immediately. We have to make sure it's put out and that everyone is safe. Well, I should be getting back to work. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. Don't mention it, Superintendent Chalmers. I'm glad you got the chance to experience our little town's cuisine. Now, don't you worry about those wild rumors about a fire. I'm sure it's just a beast of Exmoor. Um, all right then. Well, goodbye, Principal Skinner. Goodbye, Superintendent Chalmers. Have a nice day. You too. Hello, Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Is there anything I can do for you? No, I just came by to say hello. I see you got your jelly donut cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Yes, it's just about ready. I'll just go get it. No, that's okay. I'll wait. It smells delicious. Thanks, it does. I'll be right back. 
I'm sorry, gods. I burned the jelly donut. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have put it in the oven so quickly. I'll just get some baking chocolate from the store. It'll be just like the burnt jelly donut, only better because I'll be using better ingredients. Maybe I'll even make a cake out of it. I hope so. Oh, and by the way, I'm Skinner. Nice to meet you. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? The kitchen is on fire. It's just steam. Skinner, what's the real reason you swapped the food? I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't swap the food because you didn't like jelly donut. You swapped it because you like baking chocolate. What are you talking about? I didn't swap the food because I liked it. I swapped it because you didn't have any jelly donut. Okay, that wasn't a lie. But what's the real reason you swapped the food? Scare, the kitchen's on fire. I it's not. It is. Come on, admit it. The kitchen's on fire. It's not. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I was just startled. Let's get out of here. Skinner, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Chalmers. Oh, well, at least I'm going to die knowing that I saved some animals. Uh, that's a good philosophy. I think so, too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in and make yourself comfortable. We've got a delightful cucurbita fissifolia cooking in the kitchen, but it won't be ready for a few more minutes. Ah, uh, the aroma is already making my mouth water. This is one of my favorite dishes. Yes, I remember. I'm so glad you could join us. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Thank you for having me over. It's my pleasure. Shall I show you to the living room in the meantime? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the cucurbita fissifolia. I spent so much time preparing it and now it's ruined. This is so frustrating. I wish I had someone to talk to about this. I guess I'll have to figure out a way to salvage it. And I think I can use those Asini di Pepe I saw outside to replace the cucurbita fissifolia. I can go out and get some to replant in the garden. Now, what do I need to do to get started? Okay, first I should get some soil and a container to plant the Asini di Pepe. Then I'll need to make sure I have the right amount of sun and water for the new plants. After that, I should think about fertilizing them. All right, that's the plan. Now let's get to work. First, I'll head outside and get the Asini di Pepe. Then I'll come back in and get all the supplies I need. Then it's time to plant. I can do this. Everything is going to be great. Scare, what is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? You better start explaining. Ah, uh, there's no fire, sir. It's just steam from the steamed cucurbita fissifolia I'm making. It's a traditional family recipe. Skinner, this is not steam. This is smoke. Now what are you really doing here? Explain yourself. Okay, okay. The truth is, I was trying to make s'mores in the oven. I was just about to take them out when I realized I had started a small fire. I was trying to put it out with a fire extinguisher when you came in. I'm very sorry. Regional expression? What kind of expression is a Sini de Pepe? It's a traditional Sicilian phrase that means... It was the perfect alternative to the cucurbite fissifolia. But a kini di pepe is macaroni, not pumpkins. Ah, oh. yeah, that's true. It's a dialectical difference. The Sicilians call macaroni small pumpkins. It was the closest thing I could find to the original vegetable. But why didn't you just ask me if you could switch it? What is happening here? The kitchen is on fire! No, no, no. It must be a gremlin. It can't be a fire. Let me see it. Show me the gremlin. No, I can't do that. You'll have to take my word for it. I don't believe you. Someone needs to call the fire department. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I've got to go now. 
Uh, sure, no problem. Have a good day. Just remember, don't let the gremlins get you. Right. Ah, what gremlins? Oh, nothing. See you around? Ah, uh, okay then. Bye. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. We were just about to make some banana fritters, but they're not quite ready yet. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Smells delicious. Would you like to take a seat? Coffee, tea, or something stronger? Coffee would be great. Black, please. Coming right up. How could I have been so careless? I worked so hard on this, and I've ruined it. Now I have to start all over again. Why can't I just get one thing right? Okay, so I need to find some high on Micha. That's not too difficult. All I need to do is look around outside the window. Ah, there's a market stand just around the corner. This could be just the thing I need. Let's go get some high on Micho and replace that burnt banana fritter. I'll be back in a flash. I hope I can find all the ingredients I need to make the perfect high on Micho. It'll be worth it, I'm sure. What are you doing here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? I was just steaming a banana fritter. No smoke, just steam. Nothing to worry about, Superintendent Chalmers. Don't try to deceive me. This kitchen is obviously on fire. Tell me what happened. Well, I had the stove on and I guess I forgot to turn it off. I was trying to put out the fire before it spread any further. What does a Gio Night Show actually mean? Is that really a regional expression? Yes, it's a local phrase from the Far East that means delicious, nutritious delight. Watch me eat it. Now you'll see how tasty it truly is. I'll believe you for a second. Come on, tell me the truth. What does you want me to really mean? Okay, I admit it. It is actually banana fritters, but the name is kind of embarrassing, so I chose to make up a more exotic story about it. I hope you can forgive me for my little white lie. That's more like it. I guess I can understand that. Skinner! Come on! We both know there's a fire here. We need to get out of the kitchen before it spreads. We have to leave now. Oh, calm down, Chalmers. That's not a fire, it's just the northern lights. Can't you see the glorious colors? It's like a painting. Northern Lights? Are you serious? We don't even live near the Arctic. I'm calling the fire department right now. No, no, no. Don't do that. If you call them, they'll just disrupt this beautiful dancing light show that's going on right now. It would be a shame to ruin it. But, scare! This isn't the Aurora Borealis. This is a fire. Uh. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. Just the Aurora Borealis. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? Well, if you say so, Professor. I'll be on my way then. Thank you for lunch. You're most welcome. Have a safe trip. Goodbye. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Uh, that would be the bremure I'm cooking. Not quite ready yet, though. Well, I'm sure it'll be delicious when it is. May I offer you a drink while we wait? That sounds wonderful. What do you have? Oh, gods, why did I do this? I was so close to having a perfect meal. What have I done? I must start over. There is no other way if I am to finish the meal I had planned. I must begin anew. Hey, there's a perfect replacement for the burnt brimura. Buenuelos. Please let me find a way to get some of these delicious treats. 
I know I don't have any money, but maybe I can barter or trade something in exchange. Or maybe I can ask the store owner if they would be willing to let me pay them later. Gods, please send me a way to get the bonuelos I need to make this right. Ah, uh, Solution is coming to me now. I could try offering to do a small task for the store in exchange for the bonuelos. That may be just the answer I'm looking for. Thank you, gods. I'm sure this will be a success. What the hell are you doing and why is the kitchen full of smoke? Did you just climb out the window? What the hell is going on in here? It's not smoke, sir. Just steam from the steamed pramura I'm making. You see, I was just trying a new recipe and things got a bit out of hand. Out of hand? You almost burned down the entire school. You'll need to be more careful in here and I expect better from you in the future. Now clean this up and get back to work. Yes, sir, right away. I'm very sorry. Skinner, what's going on here? This isn't Bermura like we ordered. No, sir, it's not. It's much better. These are dry fried banuelos from Spain. Top of the line. Made with only the finest ingredients. Far superior to any bramura you've ever tasted. That's highly unlikely. Where did you even get banuelos from? Oh, I have my sources. All I can say is that this is the best specialty food you'll ever eat, and it's worth every peso. I highly doubt that. You better tell me the truth or there will be consequences. Skinner, what's going on in the kitchen? It smells like there is a fire. No, it must be a dibuk. It's a spirit from Jewish folklore that sometimes enters houses and causes mischief. You can't see it, though. But what about the smoke and smell? Are you sure it's not a fire? Yes, I'm sure. We need to just wait for the dibuk to pass. Okay. But I think we should check it out just to be sure. Well, Skinner, I should be going now. Thank you for lunch. Yes, of course. Have a great day. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something. I still have to do the old Dibuk ritual. So if you don't mind, I'll stay here and do it. Please just go on without me. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, I'll see you later then. Yes, of course. Have a safe journey home. Will do. See you later. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. The sirloin steak is cooking but not quite ready yet. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? I would love a glass of red wine, thank you. Of course. I'll pour us both a glass. Would you like to take a seat in the living room? Yes. That would be lovely. Very well. I'll be right behind you with the wine. Great. Just great. Now I've gone and ruined the steak. I've been so preoccupied with work that I haven't paid enough attention to my cooking. I should have known better than to leave it in the oven so long. I'm so annoyed with myself. Well, I guess I should just start over and make something else. I suppose I can always order takeout. Hmm, that banana tree outside looks like it could be a great solution. I could make some banana bread, and that would be a great replacement for the steak. And I have all the ingredients I need in the kitchen. Time to get to work. Let's see how this banana bread turns out. Ah, that smells delicious. I think I might have a winner here. Time to try it out and see how it tastes. Yeah, mom, that's quite good. I think this banana bread is a great substitute for the burnt steak. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing. Just some steam, that's all. Just trying to cook up a nice meal for everyone. What meal would involve this much smoke? This isn't steam, it's smoke. And it smells like something is on fire. Okay, okay, I admit it. There was a little fire in the kitchen, but I handled it. It's all under control now. Skinner! Why is this banana bread instead of sirloin steak? 
Well, I had trouble finding the sirloin steak, so I thought I'd switch it out for something a little healthier and more nutritious. I'm sure the students will appreciate the banana bread as a substitute. But it's not what they were expecting. Why didn't you let them know in advance that the food selection was going to change? Well, I know how students can be. They get so excited when they hear they're getting steak and I didn't want to disappoint them, so I thought this would make a nice surprise. But students should be able to rely on the food served to them in the cafeteria. Changing it without notice is unacceptable. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get everyone out of the building and call the fire department. No, no, you must be mistaken. This is simply a natural phenomenon, like the tide. What? No, this is a fire. We need to get out before it spreads. I assure you, this is simply the tide making its way through the kitchen. Nothing to be alarmed about. Are you serious? Look, the flames are growing and the smoke is getting thicker. We need to call the fire department. Um, thanks for lunch, Professor. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. You too. Remember, the tides can be a bit tricky this time of year. Ah, right. I'll remember that. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The aroma of my superb hamantash is filling the air, but it's not quite ready yet. Ah, the famed hamantash. Smells wonderful, Skinner. What a treat. How did you come to make such a delicacy? Well, as you know, my grandmother was from Poland, so I grew up with these treats. I've been perfecting the recipe for years now, and I think I have it just about right. It sure smells like you've got it down. I can't wait to try it. It won't be long now. Please, take a seat and make yourself comfortable. Why did I do that? I was so looking forward to having those hamantash in. Now they're ruined. Ugh, this always happens to me. Why can't I ever get it right? Maybe I should just order some instead. That would be easier. Um, that tree outside looks like it has some nice green sudachi fruits growing on it. I bet if I climbed out that window, I could get a few and replace the burnt amantash with them. It looks like a bit of a challenge, but I'm confident I can do it. Okay, here I go. Ah, I did it. Now let's see how this sudachi tastes in my burnt amantash. Lemma delicious. I think I might keep this recipe. Well done, Skinner. I knew I could do it. What is going on here? Why is there so much smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Uh... Well... It's just steam from the steamed hamantash I'm making. I guess I was just trying to get some air. Yeah, that's it. This kitchen is full of smoke, Seymour. I don't believe you. Now tell me the truth. Okay, fine. I was trying to hide a burned cake I made. It's a long story. Skinner, what is this pastry and why did you give it to me instead of the hamantash I asked for? This is a sudachi. It's a traditional pastry from the rural areas of our state. The locals call it a hamantash. Don't worry, you're gonna love it. I'm sure I will, but why did you give me this instead of the original? I thought you'd like a change of pace. I didn't think you'd want the same dessert all the time. The sudachi is much more interesting and unique. I figured you'd appreciate that. Hello. I'm not convinced. Why don't you tell me the truth? What? going on here? I smell smoke. Oh, that's probably just the warlocks. Don't worry about it. No, this is not normal. Let me see what's going on. No, no. It's definitely just the warlocks. Nothing to worry about. I'm not taking your word for it. I'm gonna take a look. Um, I think I should go. Thank you for lunch, Professor Skinner. 
Of course. Come back anytime. Now why don't we have a look at those warlocks I told you about? You know, I feel like I should be going. That fire looks pretty bad. I mean, you can smell it. What fire? There is no fire. There are only warlocks. Now come on, let's take a look at them. You know, I really should be going. That fire does not look good. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, so nice of you to join us. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. I'm making a lobster stew. It won't be ready for a while, though. That sounds like it'll be worth the wait. Yes, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, how could I have been so careless? I've ruined my lobster stew. Well, I guess it's back to the drawing board and I'll have to start all over. Well, there's nothing else I can do except try to salvage what I have and make a different kind of stew. Aha! Uh -huh. Just the thing. I need to get out there and collect some kind of pastry that I can use to replace this burnt lobster stew. I wonder what kind of pastry would work best. I guess I'm going to have to try a few different types and see what works. Right then. I better head out there and start my search. These pastries won't collect themselves. Time to get to work. I'll just have to try a few different types of pastry and then find the one that works best in this dish. All right then, off I go. What are you doing here? And why is there so much smoke? Explain yourself. Why were you climbing out of the window? Well, um... I was... Uh, I was just making some steamed lobster stew and... Uh, the steam was making the room rather hazy. Don't lie to me! This smells like a burning kitchen! How did it catch on fire? Oh, uh, I didn't catch it on fire really. It must have been a faulty stove. It happens sometimes. What do you mean by that? What region are you referring to, and what kind of dish is it? Actually, it's a traditional dish from the highlands of Scotland called lobsterless stew. It's made with a delicate combination of pastries, savory vegetables, and a hint of spices. It's a very unique dish, and I think you'll find it quite enjoyable. So why wasn't the dish labeled appropriately? Ah, uh, well, that's because it's part of a special promotion. Unfortunately, the labeling machines were on the fritz the day these were made, so the labels you received must have been switched in the process. But why lobster stew if the dish was pastry? Look, Skinner, there is clearly a fire in the kitchen. We can't put it out if we don't know what it is. No, no, Chalmers. It's not a fire. It's the headless horseman. I'm sure of it. I don't think so. Can I see it? No, you can't. I'm positive it's the Headless Horseman. This is serious. We have to do something right away. We have to put the fire out. And we won't be able to do that if you keep denying that there is one in the first place. Thank you for lunch, sir. I must be going. But it was nice meeting you. Anytime, Chalmers. Don't forget to come back soon. Say, did you hear about the Headless Horseman? They say he's been roaming around these parts. Ah, no, sir, I hadn't heard that. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Have a good day. You too. Do, 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers, always poking around. Their arguments echo in each room in town. They try to outsmart each other with lots of sound. Always chaos and confusion when the two are around. Skinner always pushing and Chalmers pushing back. Playing out the same patterns they go through every day. But no matter what happens, they always stay in town tonight. Seymour. Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you. It smells great in here. What are you cooking? 
I'm making a pot of vegetable soup. It's not quite ready yet, but it should be soon. Sounds delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, thank you. I think I've got it all under control. Damn it. How could I have burned the diet? I've never done that before. Why did this have to happen today of all days? I'll have to throw this out and start over again. Uh, this is such a hassle. Come on. Come on. I know I can do this. All I need to do is find the right material to replace the burnt diet. Maybe outside I'll find something that could replace it. Aha, uh -huh, look at that tree. The Kadang Kadang looks like it would fit perfectly. Now how can I get it here without anyone noticing? Hmm, maybe I could tie a rope around it and pull it over to the window. All right, let's give it a try. One, two, three, hev. What are you doing? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? Why were you trying to climb out the window? Answer me. It's nothing, sir. It's just the steam from my steamed diet. It's a kind of quash. I was just trying to open the window to let the steam out. Stop lying to me. I know what's going on here and I won't stand for it. Put the fire out and explain yourself. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Skinner, I know that this is not diet. I can see for myself that this is Kadang. K-Dang. What I want to know is why you changed the order without consulting me. Well, sir, it's a regional expression. I thought that Kadang. Kadang was a unique and exotic choice. The name carries with it a certain flair that I think your students will appreciate. I'm sorry if I overstep my boundaries, it won't happen again. Skinner, I find your explanation hard to believe. Are you sure that is the only reason why you changed the order? Yes, sir, that's the only reason. I understand that it was wrong of me to make the change without consulting you and I apologize for my mistake. Very well. I'll accept your explanation, but in the future be sure to check with me before making any drastic changes. Is that clear? What's going on in the kitchen? It smells like smoke. Oh, it's probably just a skinwalker. Nothing to worry about. Can I... can I see it? No, no, I'm afraid not. It's best if we don't disturb it. I think there might be a fire. Let me take a look. Well, this has been a pleasant lunch. Thank you, Principal Skinner. You're welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. It's always a pleasure. Good day, Skinner. Good day, Superintendent. Oh, one more thing. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What's cooking? Uh, I'm making an asher. It's not ready yet, unfortunately. Would you like something else to drink while you wait? That would be wonderful, thank you. What do you have? We have some wine, beer, and tea. What would you like? Oh, no. I've ruined the asher. I was so looking forward to eating it tonight. This is so frustrating. Oh, if only I had paid more attention to the stove instead of daydreaming. I guess I will have to start over and try again. There's no use in being angry with myself. I just need to focus and try harder next time. I think I can use the dutsia outside the window to replace the burn to shore. I just need to cut the dutsia into the right shape and size and then put it in place. Um, let me see what tools I have around here that I can use. Maybe I can find something to help me shape the dutsia. Uh, here's a pair of garden shears. Perfect. Now let me get to work on the dutsia. Okay, I'm gonna need to measure the burn to sure first. Then I can shape the dutsia to match the measurements of the burn to sure. Okay, got it. Now to cut the dutsia. Here we go. Skinner, what the hell is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I mean, it's just the steam from the steam to sure I'm making. 
It's a traditional Turkish dessert. Skinner, don't lie to me. The kitchen is on fire. I can smell the smoke. Now put out the fire and explain what you were doing. Uh, okay. I guess I was trying to make some toast using a toaster oven and it got a little out of hand. Skinner, what is this? Oh, this. It's the newest health food craze. It's called Dutzia, and it's a high-protein, low-carbohydrate alternative to traditional Ashur. Trust me, it's all the rage in health food circles. But why didn't you bring the Azure you said you would? Well, you know what they say about trends? Like the wind, they can change direction in an instant. I just wanted to make sure we had the latest, and the greatest, and the greatest. I'm sure you'll love it. Skinner, I don't believe you. Now tell me the truth. Where is the Asher? Skinner, what is going on? I can see the smoke and flames coming out of the kitchen. We need to call the fire department. No need to worry, Chalmers. That's just what we call the Rainbow Bridge. We don't need to call the fire department. Rainbow Bridge? I don't believe you. I demand to see it for myself. No, no, no. You don't have to worry about that. We can take care of it without involving the fire department. If there's nothing wrong, then you'll let me see it. Otherwise, I'm calling the fire department. Well, thanks for lunch, Seymour. I should be going now. You're always welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, and don't forget Rainbow Bridge. Sure, have a nice day. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Lech Brewery Wilkopolsky is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? No, thank you. I'm fine. What is Leash Brewery Wielkopolski? It's a traditional Polish beer brewed in the city of Wielkopolski. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but many people enjoy it. I see. I'm looking forward to trying it when it's ready. It shouldn't be much longer. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Gods, why did I have to go and do that? I'm so sorry I ruined the brew. I guess I needed a break and I was so excited to try it. Please forgive me. I know I should have been more careful. I promise, I'll never make this mistake again. Um, so embarrassed. I'm sure I'll never live this down. I hope I can still salvage the ingredients and brew something else. Gods of beer hear my plea. I beseech you to grant me the power to bring Wafu dressing to the Wilkopolsky Brewery. Let me find a way to replace its burnt ulch with this new flavor, and let me bring joy and delight to my patrons. Amen. And now I must find a way, but how? I will start by researching the ingredients of wafu dressing to determine how to incorporate it into the brewery's beer. I must also look into the effects these ingredients will have on the flavor profiles of the beer. Then, I must come up with a recipe and process that will deliver these results. Finally, I will experiment. A success, I can do this. Yeah, I am indeed the god of beer. Skinner, what the devil are you doing in here? This place is full of smoke. Why were you climbing out of the window? Sir, I can assure you it's not smoke. It's simply steam from the steam the leash brewery Wilkopolsky. I've been preparing. It's quite harmless, I assure you. Harmless? This kitchen is full of smoke, Mr. Skinner. I want the truth. What have you done? Nothing, sir. I was simply trying to create the perfect leash brewery, Will Kopolsky. And I think I may have achieved it. Skinner, you know that isn't Lech Brewery, Will Kopolsky. What is really going on here? Well, it's complicated. You see, the Leish Brewery Wilkopolsky just wasn't available. So I had to improvise, and I found this amazing waifu dressing. It is the perfect substitute. You expect me to believe that? This isn't the same thing at all. I understand your skepticism, but trust me, 
I wouldn't have made the substitution if I wasn't absolutely sure it was the right thing to do. The Wafu dressing is of the same high quality and it offers a unique flavor that I'm sure you'll enjoy. It's a win-win situation. Skinner, I'm not buying it. You need to tell me the truth right now. What is that? It looks like a fire. No, no. That's Lord Bumbo. He's a friendly spirit who's here to help us out. Bah! Shouldn't we be doing something about it? Are you sure it's just Lord Bumbo? Yeah, absolutely. Lord Bumbo comes to help us every now and then, and he's here now. Can I see him? Well, Skinner, I, I... Thank you for lunch today. I must be going now. I'm afraid I have some other business to tend to. Ah, uh, very well. Thanks for visiting. Until we meet again. Yes, until then. Oh, and Skinner, what's that odd smell? Oh, that. That would be Lord Bumbo. He likes to hang around here sometimes and drop off gifts. Ah, uh, of course. Well, goodbye then. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. Good evening, Principal Skinner. Is that a surprise I smell cooking? Smells delightful. Yes, it is. It's not quite ready yet, but it won't be long. Can I get you a drink while you wait? That sounds lovely. Thank you. What can I get you? We have a selection of beers, wines, and spirits. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the serpoids again. I was so close to getting it right this time. I must have been distracted. Ah, well, nothing to do now but start over. This time, I'll pay closer attention and make sure I get it right. I won't let it ruin my dinner. Uh, I think I just saw a bush full of bean feast out there. Now all I need to do is pick some of the beans and maybe I can whip up enough of a bean feast to replace this burnt serpentines. I just need to figure out how to get to it. Maybe I can climb out the window and make my way over there. Okay, here goes nothing. Well, that was harder than I thought it'd be. Let's see if this bean feast is as good as I hope it is. Um, um it's delicious. What the hell is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to burn the place down? Oh no, it's nothing like that. I'm just making some steam serpoids, and the steam is filling up the kitchen. That's not steam. That's smoke. Put the fire out and tell me what the hell is going on. Okay, okay. I was heating oil in a pan and it got too hot and started smoking. I'm really sorry. What is this? This isn't the serpoids I asked for. Oh, this. It's a special dish, a gourmet bean feast. It's a secret recipe I picked up from a top chef in France. I thought you'd appreciate something a bit more unique than the usual stuff. But I asked for serpoids. Uh, yes, of course. I just thought this would be an interesting alternative. I'm sure you'll love it once you try it. Skinner, I know you switched the orders on purpose. Why did you do it? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now. No, no, no. That can't be. It must be hailstorms. You don't need to worry. It'll be fine. Skinner, I need to see for myself. Let me take a look. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just go to the living room. It's safer there. Skinner, this is serious. I need to see if the kitchen is on fire or not. Please let me take a look. Well, thanks for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I really appreciate it. I should be going now. All right. Have a safe journey home. Oh, my God. Look at that. The house is on fire. What? No, no, no. That's just a hailstorm. Oh, Mr. Skinner, I think you should call the fire department. Do-do-do-do. Skinner and Chalmers, they fight all day.
chasing each other around the halls. He lies to her, and she gets mad. It's a riotous affair and not sad. He's the principal, she's the teacher. They constantly clash with zero mercy. No one else in town can set the tone. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See more.